2024 MK passed within 180,000 yep. miles of yep. Earth's surface, 75% of the distance between Earth and the Moon, size of Eiffel Tower, came between Earth and the Moon. So 180,000 miles, just for context. Is that a big deal? Or is that not like, it was almost a missed? That is, in astronomical sense, that's like a whisker. And see, here's the thing. If it comes that close, see that? You got a picture. These things are out there orbiting the sun, mm -hmm. right? A lot of them are, you think of it like a cosmic ping pong game. And a lot of these things like comets and asteroids that are circling in an orbit that takes them out to Jupiter and back to the sun again. If there's so many meteors that go going by, how come we don't get hit by it more often? The evidence that I've been looking at for years would suggest to me that the impact rate is not uniform through time. But there are periods where it's more concentrated, if you want to say more bunched. And then you'll have a period where it's relatively calm, and then you'll have another period where there'll be an influx, an increase in meteorite or cometary impact. All of these things, we put it on the wall in a, let's just say, decision-making room, whatever you want to call that room. All right, how do you prevent from a meteor hitting us? How do you prevent from these volcanoes erupting? Or is it just, guys, if it happens, you're screwed. There's nothing <laughs> you can do about it. Right now, yes, if it happens, we're screwed.